wanted to go over all of the th new things I got that I'm planning on using for the salon. This channel is basically surrounded around my business and me navigating life, becoming a new business owner. I figured why not? And maybe you can help some of y'all. The first two things that I invested in was these two pink bags. One of them is my money bag. Like anytime someone pays me cash, I put cash in here. As well as anytime I have receipts. When it comes down to taxes, we need to have records of our write-offs. So this one is for cash and any receipts that I have. And this one is for my gift cards. So for example, in this one we have gift card. And the envelopes and that way they never get bent up so i would say that these two have been very very useful and they're easy to just grab and throw in your bag next up i have this this goes around your neck like this and then you're supposed to put your phone on here unfortunately i'm filming with my phone but basically you put your phone on here it's a magnet so let's pretend that this is my phone so it's a magnet, your phone goes on here. The whole time that I'm working on a client, I can actually get my POV in a video, which I think is so huge because content creation and all of that is so big around promoting your business and everything. So if I can get live action shots, I feel like this would be huge and this is a good compromise. So I'm not so focused on filming and I can just hook it up, forget about it. And do my job let you know how this works i have not used it on an actual client yet so we should see usually i have to set up like a tripod in the corner of the room and i just feel like that's so extra like that's so much you know my boyfriend actually taught me that this this is a button i actually did not know that you could do this i was literally just trying to pull it over my head sky organics indian healing clay i was reading the reviews and they seemed really good and I want to offer more in my facials and my body treatments. I mean, to be honest, I think it would be so cool to do like a body mask on my clients or even like a back treatment with the mask. I think it would be super cool, like basically a facial on their back. Pure mineral rich clay helps remove impurities and, and everyday pollutants from oily and blemish prone skin while exfoliating dull areas to support clear and even looking complexion. I'm going to do more research about this to see, but so far this seems like a good one. I am going to practice on a couple of my friends and I'll let you know how it goes. I also got this clear aloe vera gel. I specifically got clear because I was thinking that I could use this for some demos in my videos. Draw on someone, get a model, and I'm going to draw on them where the lymph nodes are. Then I'm going to put this aloe vera gel over the lymph nodes. I'm going to do a demo showing the fluid, aka the aloe vera gel, the fluid moving into the lymph nodes. Does that make sense? So I thought this would be cool for a demo. Also, it's the summer and I could also use it for if I get a sunburn or something. So I feel like this was a good investment. All right, if you watched my Amazon reviews salon edition video, you would have seen me reading reviews about lotion warmers i did not end up getting any of those lotion warmers but i did end up purchasing one I have not had a chance to try it yet but here is the one that i ended up going with it is good with oil body lotion and cream so i thought that was pretty cool because i am currently experiencing i am currently experimenting with both oil and cream so it keeps my options open i'm even debating to maybe do because it comes with two bottles i'm debating to maybe do one filled with cream and one filled with oil so then i always have a variety um but let's see let's read the features together so portable and compact digital screen and button switch temperature control from 80 to 149 degrees led intelligent light create a cozy atmosphere oh so they're trying to tell me that the led light from my um, lotion warmer is going to create a a cute aesthetic thanks <laughs> Works with cream, oil, and body lotion. Heats up quickly. That is huge because I get to work a half an hour early so I can turn on my bed warmer because, you know, I always just want the bed to be so cozy for my clients. So if I can just pop it on as soon as I come in and turn on the bed warmer so it heats up quick, hopefully that means everything will be all heated up and ready for the day. You will see. I will keep you posted. If you have tried this one, please comment down below. I mean, it's already too late. I've already purchased it, but I still want to hear your thoughts. Going into the lotion, cream, top, lotion, cream, oil topic. 
because I'm a new business owner, I have to kind of figure out what is going to be my staple products. What are my go-to products? And I haven't necessarily found them yet. I'm still experimenting with things, but these are the three that I have purchased so far. I'm going to tell you my opinion on them and we'll go from there. The first one that I purchased was Biotene Dual Purpose Massage Cream, Arnica and Ivy Extracts. So I purchased this one because it had really good reviews. This is what the inside looks like. Very thick. Now, I don't know if I should be mixing it with something. I don't know if warming it up in my heater would work or what. But when I put it on my hands to rub onto my clients, even me trying to like, you know, loosen it up, warm it up in my hands, it's just very thick. And so when I go to put it on my client, it doesn't have the glide that I need. And so I'm finding myself having to put more, more often. Also, I've noticed that it's like separating in a way. Like as I'm trying to do my movements, it's starting to ball up and separate and dry. And with that being said, now I'm having to break contact more, which is causing the massage to be less relaxing. So I am not hitting on this lotion. I am just strictly telling you my experience. The smell is pretty good. I think it's coming from the Arnica and everything, Arnica and Ivy. It smells good, just what I'm specifically trying to use it for. I've been struggling, I don't know. Maybe I will find a way to make this work, but at the moment, it's just, it's just not it for me. Then I thought, what if I try an oil? So I got Sacred Earth Botanicals Organic Massage Oil Blend. I know that Sacred Earth is like such a well-known great brand, so I thought I couldn't go wrong with this. So I got this one. I am not familiar with massaging with oil. Usually I do massage with a cream or lotion. So I was a little bit nervous for this, but honestly, I love it. I don't know why, but in my head, I was thinking if it's an oil, I go to put it in my hands, it's just gonna pour everywhere and it's gonna be a mess. I, I, I don't know, just in my head, like that's, there was no in between. It was either staying in the bottle or getting all over the floor. But the other night, my boyfriend gave me a massage and he was like, hey, what if I massage you with this oil so you can feel as if you were a client what it feels like? And I was like, okay, yeah, bet. He massaged me with the oil and honestly, like it felt so good on my skin. Even after we had finished the massage, my skin felt so hydrated, so smooth. It felt so light on my skin when he was massaging and the glide was great. He did not have to go back and keep getting more. So I would recommend this. And I'm thinking if I put it in a bottle, there's no reason that it's gonna pour everywhere. It'd be one thing if every time I'm like working on a client, I'm just like pouring it in my hand, but that's not what's gonna be happening. So I need to get out of my head. I think if I put it in a bottle and just pump it into my hand, it'll be good. I've tried this one on a client, didn't love. My boyfriend has tried this one on me. I think I'm liking, but have not tried on an actual client yet. And then lastly, I got Sacred Earth again because I'm really loving that brand. Botanicals, a vegan massage cream. So this one actually is a cream. I've really been liking this one. I'm debating if I do want to mix a little something with it. I don't know if I should mix like a little bit of water or if I should mix some oil. I don't really know. Again, still learning. I really like the glide of this one. It's almost as if the more you massage it, it almost feels like it turns to an oil, which I love. So it feels like a cream yet oily consistency, which I really do like. I'm really curious how all of these are going to react when it comes to warming them up. When I do that, I will definitely let you know. Of course, the weather is getting hot. It's been like 90s the past couple of days where I live, but my favorite so far is the sacred, my favorite so far is the sacred earth. And I specifically got vegan because it is nut oil free, gluten free, water dispersible, cruelty free, fragrance free, and paraben free. Not only is it better that if you can go for a natural option, why not? Also, some of my clients do have nut allergies and all of that. And I thought cost efficiency or like to be the most cost effective. Why don't I just get one lotion that is nut free? The people that are not allergic to nuts can still use it. And the people that are allergic to nuts can use it compared to getting a nut free one and a regular one. Think smarter, not harder. The face. So what I always, my go-to facial oil, anytime I'm giving a facial is just rose hip. I've noticed that it is great with multiple skin types. I've never really had an issue. So I go with rose hip. I don't know why, but I just specifically 
feel comfortable with this brand. I'm sure all rose hip or most rose hip is great, but I like this specific one. I always get this rose hip in the orange bottle. I get it off of Amazon. And then coming with trying to figure out my go-to staples that I'm gonna be having within my business, I need to find a good face mask. Now I think long-term, I kind of want to get partnered up with maybe like a skincare brand so I can utilize their product. But your girl is new. So I'm just trying to figure it out on my own. And so these are the three masks that I have been experimenting with. Now this Just Let It Glow, it's a sheet mask. It's pear fruit, sea berry extract, and it is it smells good. It's very, when you put it on their face, let's see, let me get it. It's very wet and it almost looks like see-through, almost like a toilet paper. So when you place it on their mask, it's nice and wet and kind of lifted. Then you press it onto their face and just nice and wet and kind of see-through on their face. I do like this one. So this is supposed to brighten up their face. And this one is Get Dewy. This one has algae, rose, hygrolic acid this one i noticed probably because it says get dewy it leaves their face so so moist which i mean they dewy for sure but like it's to the point sometimes where i'm like do you need to tell i like both of them though honestly both of them seem to really hydrate my clients faces which is huge this last one i just recently started using this one i am obsessed with the smell the smell is amazing it is a coconut green tea caffeine mask. Caffeine is supposed to tighten the skin. So yes, we love that. Okay, and this is so cute. The holes of the eye mask are in the shape of a heart. Yes, in the shape of a heart. That is so cute. It smells so good. And my skin after felt so tight and soft. So I'm thinking to go with this one. This one has been my favorite so far. But again, with people having allergies, I can't count on just doing this one. I mean, there's coconut, there's green tea, there's multiple things in it that people could potentially be sensitive to, especially people's faces tend to be really sensitive. So I'm not going to primarily rely on this one, but I think I am definitely going to add this one to the go-to list. All right, so I don't know how many of you are familiar with this, but there is a such thing called buccal facial massage or buccal massage. Basically what it is, is it's a massage inside your mouth. And so people that struggle with TMJ, jaw pain, all of that type of stuff, it actually is really beneficial and it relieves a lot of that pain, you know, because you're able to get inside and directly massage those muscles. So I'm in the process of learning that massage. I think I have brought that up to you guys a little bit in the past, how I was feeling a little bit unmotivated because I was struggling, but that's okay. I didn't give up and that's what's important. So I got two different glove options because yes, I'm not gonna be sticking my hands in their mouth naked. Like, I'm gonna wear gloves, obviously, for their safety and for mine. I think I'm getting sick. I feel so congested today. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I can't be getting sick, I have to work. I started off with these gloves because pink is my color. And I thought, okay, obviously pink, it just makes sense. I made sure to get latex free because again, I understand that people are allergic to things and latex is the main one. So I got, what size did I get? I got extra small. I always try to go for the smallest size. My hands are so tiny. But um, this is powder-free, latex-free, protein-free. Protein-free? Do they usually come with meat? I got these and they feel fine. They look cute. But shortly after purchasing these, I went to a grand opening for a plastic surgeon and he had so many vendors there and like skin specialists and all of that. And this lady was wearing these gloves and I was like, oh my gosh, those look so amazing. Like they're not pink, but they looked so like thin and like, like her skin. Like it looked like her clients weren't going to feel that she was wearing gloves. Does that make sense? And I feel like when you wear gloves, sometimes it takes away the intimacy from the massage. And I feel like massage is something, you know, like there's something to be said about doing it with your hands. And so you want it to feel like you're doing it with your hands. I was like looking at her gloves and I wanted to ask, but I was like, is that weird? And also I was like, go for what you want. So I was like, hey, do you mind me taking a picture of your gloves? Cause I saw there was like a box on the counter and she was like, oh my gosh, yes, take a picture. These are the best gloves I've ever used. And she just went on this whole thing about it. And I was like, all right. So she highly recommends these gloves. 
I haven't used them firsthand yet, but I was watching her work on other people and they look like a game changer. She said they do not rip, they're great. So here they are. Take a screenshot. I got them off Amazon. She stands by them. I think these are the ones I'm gonna use. So I think I'm gonna use these as my primary go-tos and these will be in the cabinet as a backup. So I actually did not purchase this for myself. My grandma was so kind to get it for me. I really wanted to get it to incorporate it into my massages. When I started my business, she purchased this for me and I am still in the process of incorporating it. This is the Revo Modernized Cupping Therapy. Well, a majority of my massage is done by hands. I would say about 90% of my massage is done by hands. And then I have a cavitation machine that I use across each body part, pulling up all that stagnant fluid and everything so we can really bring it to the lymph node. It's a big machine, I plug it in, it's on a cart. Well, I have been doing pop-up events and I don't bring my machine. It's not that I couldn't, it's on a cart, but I just feel like it's so much, it's too much to bring, you know? And if you're going to somebody's business, you're going to somebody's home, I'm not trying to just bring all this stuff. I found this online and it is a cupping machine as well as something that can help with circulation, just like the machine I'm already using. So I'm not familiar with how to cup people, but this is the packaging. And what is so cool about this one compared to the one I have at the salon, is it's so small. Do you see how small this is? This is literally handheld and I can just go on people's bodies so quick, just throw it in my to-go bag. This is truly going to be a game changer. I cannot wait. Dynamic suction technology, powerful red light therapy. Oh my gosh, I forgot this has red light therapy in it. Therapeutic nerve calming heat. Okay, so it's heated, has red therapy. Suction, ad adjustable levels. Okay, so we can up and down the intensity depending on the client. And it says easy to use. All right, so I am so excited to use this. I need to practice because I don't want to just bruise up all my clients, but it looks so exciting. I am so excited. I will keep you all posted on how it goes, but if you end up getting one or if you end up getting any of these things that I showed you, please comment down below and tell me how you like them. Yeah, I just, I love taking y'all on this journey with me because I truly have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. And you know, if I'm being so for real with you right now, so for real, I had a whole breakdown yesterday. I had a whole breakdown. I started crying. I was convinced that my business was gonna fail. Why is no one booking? I just don't understand. I'm putting in so much work. I'm so stupid to think that I could run a business. What am I gonna do? Does anybody care about my videos? Does anyone even wanna come and see me? How am I? Like I was just going down <laughs> my boyfriend was trying to be positive and he was trying to hype me up and i was just like i'm not trying to be negative but it's just not working i just don't know what to do my business is just not working and i'm freaking out because it's not like this it's just a hobby i have this is my livelihood so it's and then i'm thinking like okay well if only things didn't cost money i could be patient i'm willing to put in the work but I have to pay my bills. And if I don't have clients, I can't pay my bills. You know what I mean? And then it seems like when you don't have a lot of money, that's when all the bills hit. Like the trash bill and the rent. Oh, and my salon rent. So, you know, I have house rent and salon rent. Oh, and then the trash. Oh, oh yes, yes, this is so great. So I got a business license in April. It was about $30 and I was like, that is so great. $30, I just paid $200 for my zoning fee. This is so great that I only have to pay 30 for, for a business license, right? So great, so, so great. Well, after purchasing it, I realized my business license expires on June 30th. I got it on April, 2024 and it's now expiring June 30th, 2024. Hmm. Well, that's weird because I, I just bought it. How is it already expired in a couple months? Well, apparently, apparently the beginning of the year is July 1st. That, that was at a prorated price. So actually I paid $30, but that was just a piece of it because now yesterday, yeah, yesterday, yesterday was June 30th and that was like the last day to renew it. So I was like, all right, cool. Type in the website, go ahead. I'm just going to go renew this real quick. A hundred and four dollars it's a hundred dollars just to renew your license and then it is ten additional dollars for each employee that you have i have no employees so thankfully only a hundred dollars but then there was like four dollars for like 
tax or I don't even know. There was like four dollars, and I was like, okay, 104, whatever. I'm paying online convenience. I go to the checkout, 107. Where did this seven dollars just come from? I'm I'm truly confused, but yeah, that was a lot of money this weekend. And none of it was for fun stuff. But at least it was to invest in our future. <laughs> Just gotta keep telling myself that because it is really getting hard sometimes. <sighs> All right, well, I think I am going to end out this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some of this or all of it to be beneficial. I hope it helps you out. Let me know if you decide to buy any of these things or if you've tried them out before. Give me your recommendation below. And until next time, bye bestie.